Good morning, one and all. Today, we are here before you to present a very important topic on chemistry, that is greenhouse effect. So, I welcome Ananda to this session. I am introducing our group. I am Anjima J. Nair. I am Anak V. Chako. I am Archana Sudevan. Okay, now let's begin our session. Today we are discussing about greenhouse effect. This picture uh, is a uh, nursery of garden. It's an example of greenhouse. Let's see more about greenhouse effect. What is greenhouse? A greenhouse, also called a glass house, is a building in which plants are grown. This structure range in size from small sheds to very large buildings. A miniature greenhouse is known as a cold frame. There are three founders for greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect was discovered by Joseph Fourier in 1824. First re reliably experimented on by John Tyndall in 1858. First reported quantitatively by Swande Arrhenius in 1896. There are two types of greenhouse. Uh, first one is natural greenhouse. Second one is artificial greenhouse. In natural greenhouse, it is created naturally, but artificial greenhouse is created by humans. Natural greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap the solar radiations to warm the earth. The transparent glass allows the radiations to pass through and traps the radiations by not letting them escape in artificial greenhouse. In natural greenhouse, it occupies a large area. Since artificial greenhouse is made by human, it occupies a relatively small area. Fourth point is, in natural greenhouse, it creates a heating effect in the all earth. In artificial greenhouse, it creates a heating effect only in a certain specified area. Let's move on to the other peculiarities of greenhouse. Yes, so now we can see what is greenhouse effect. So this greenhouse effect, it is a process by which the thermal radiation from the sun is absorbed by the atmospheric greenhouse gases and it will be re-radiated in all directions. And since this re-radiation is back towards the surface, the energy is being transferred to the surface and the lower atmosphere. As a result, what happens? The temperature there is higher and it would be direct heating by the solar radiation where the only warming mechanism happens. So this is about the greenhouse effect. So now we can just move on to the flow chart related to how this greenhouse effect is being carried out. So first of all, what happens? The sun will be passing Sunlight will be passing through the atmosphere and the earth's surface absorbs the sunlight. And thereby what happens? The land will be getting heated up by the sunlight and it emit back the heat as infrared rays. And on emitting this infrared rays, the greenhouse gases will be absorbing this heat. And part of this heat is sent towards the ground and it's heating the earth's surface and the lower atmosphere again. So now we can see the picturistic way of presentation, how a greenhouse effect is enabled. So next slide. Yes, so here you can see the sun and from where which the incoming radiation is reaching on the earth's surface. And in the second figure, you can see that 
the incoming radiation that reaches the Earth's surface warms and it emits radiation, which is the infrared radiation. And next one, on emitting this infrared radiation, it is being absorbed by what? The greenhouse gases. Okay. And then this greenhouse gases will be getting energized and then again it will be emitting the IR radiation or the infrared radiation. And thereby what happens to the Earth's surface? It will be warming up the surface of the Earth. So this is all about the actual process. Arjuna, is that audible? Please with the Okay, now so far we have discussed about the greenhouse effect that warm up the whole earth. Now here it is already mentioned that certain greenhouse gases is the main reason for trapping the infrared radiations. Now we call these gases as greenhouse gases. Let us see what are these greenhouse gases. Now, our Earth is surrounded by a different layers of gases called atmosphere. It consists of stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, exosphere, and so on. And the greenhouse gases play an important role in this greenhouse effect. They surround the Earth like gases in greenhouse and do not allow the heat to escape into space and hence keep the Earth warm. Now, what are the causes of this greenhouse effect? As we have already discussed, the increase in the greenhouse gases is one of the major cause of greenhouse effect. Also, deforestation, burning of fossils, population growth, ozone layer depletion, formation of clouds, etc. are also the causes of a greenhouse effect. Now, let us look on to what these greenhouse gases do in increasing the global temperature. Greenhouse gases works like a great space blanket that keeps the heat in. So, the sun rays heat up the earth and the greenhouse gases stop these heat rays backing out to space. So, the earth gradually gets warmer and which results in the global warming. Now, as greenhouse gases are very dangerous, let us see the percentage of these greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. By their percentage contribution to greenhouse effect on Earth, the four major gases are water vapor, that is included in 36 to 70 percentage, carbon dioxide, 9 to 26 percentage, methane, 4 to 9 percentage, and ozone, 3 to 7 percentage. Now, let us look on to the greenhouse gases in according to the pie chart. The following pie chart displays the percentage of each gas which plays a role in the greenhouse effect. Okay, one of the main of uh, greenhouse effect is ozone layer depletion is the result of increasing greenhouse effect. Ozone layer repletion describes two distinct but related phenomena observed since the late 1970s. A steady decline about 44 percentage decade in, in the total volume of ozone in Earth's stratosphere and a much larger springtime decrease in stratospheric ozone over Earth's polar regions. The later phenomenon is referred to as the ozone hole. The greenhouse effect is the one of the reason behind ozone layer depletion. Since ozone layer depletion is the uh, is arises due to uh, greenhouse effect, greenhouse effect has some advantages. First one is ex ex existence of life. Second one, maintaining Earth's temperature. Third one, filter unwanted solar energy. Fourth one, helping growing 
ഓഫ് സീസൺ ക്രോപ്സ് ഫിഫ്ത് വൺ സോളാർ പവേർഡ് വാട്ടർ ഹീറ്റർ യൂസ് ദ ഗ്രീൻ ഹൗസ് ഇഫക്ട് ഹീറ്റ് വാട്ടർ സിക്സ്ത് വൺ മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ദ വാട്ടർ ലെവൽ ആൻഡ് റെസ്ട്രിക്ട് ഐസ് മെൽറ്റിംഗ് Here we can see the pictorial representation of advantages of greenhouse effect. What would happen if there were no greenhouse gases at all in the atmosphere? If there were no greenhouse gases at all, the average temperature of the earth would have been minus 18 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius, less than today's temperature. due to this ice would cover the earth surface which would make survival of living organism impossible so now we can move on to some of the disadvantages of greenhouse effect the very first one is as you all will be familiar with the term global warming and the second one is that the level of the sea will be rising third one the economic impact then the agriculture impact then it also affects the aquatic systems too along with the effect on the hydrological cycles then various health issues for the humans then direct effects of the temperature rise and spread of diseases now is greenhouse effect and global warming the same no greenhouse effect and global warming are not the same thing global warming actually refers to the rise in the temperature of the surface of the earth and an increase in this concentration of the greenhouse gases is the actual reason which leads to an increase in the magnitude of the greenhouse effect and this increase in the magnitude of greenhouse effect is called as enhanced greenhouse effect and this actually results in the global warming so now coming to the future consequences here you can see the next slide the pictures related to the consequences that is the polar ice caps will be melting off forest fires then drought so many aquatic life organisms will be uh, adversely affected and as a whole the earth will be burning itself so that is one of the future consequences then next one is a changing environment the rise in temperature which is a main issue for changing environment as you can see in this slide so now we can move on to some of the solutions to increase the greenhouse okay can you see now yes yes okay so now we will be discussing about the solutions to the increase in greenhouse effect that is it reduce the use of materials which produce greenhouse gases avoid the burning of fossil fuels and household residue upgrade the infrastructures afforestation using the alternative sources of energy use eco friendly materials incineration plants should be established and pollution should be controlled the extended solutions to the greenhouse effect will be explained once more that is the decrease the demand for electricity and fuel as much as possible through efficiency measures decrease the demand for distributed use of hydrocarbon fuels as much as possible by focusing on electrification of transportation including light duty vehicles trains buses and some trucks water and space heating in buildings and industrial process heating also produce electricity with very low emission through a combination of nuclear power fossil fuel generation with carbon capture and storage and renewable sources and provide load balancing services without emission as much as possible using energy storage or smart grid solutions use low carbon intensity biofuels as meat as much as of the remaining hydrocarbon fuel demand both liquid and gases as possible here the roles of students in minimizing the effects of increasing greenhouse effect students should have some commitment towards our environment forming local level student union to increase student participation in environmental conservation second one 
conducting afforestation programs, especially in urban areas to restore greenery. While planting a tree, we provide love to our nature and environment. Third one, including students from all over the world from different ecological regions so that protection campaigns can be made much more effective. These are the roles of students in minimizing greenhouse effect. So now it's time for summing up. And so far we have been discussing initially about what is a greenhouse. Then we have gone through the history of greenhouse effect followed upon by the types of greenhouses. Then detailly we have seen how the greenhouse effect is imposed and the causes of greenhouse. Then importance of greenhouse effect or the advantages. Then we have seen the disadvantage of greenhouse effect then the future consequences, then the solutions for it, followed upon by the role of a student in uh, overcoming this greenhouse effect leading to global warming. So now it's time for some review questions. So here are the review questions. So let us review the whole topic we have discussed. That is, what is a greenhouse effect? Now, the second question is, differentiate natural and artificial greenhouse. Third question is, name the greenhouse gases. And the fourth question is, explain the ozone layer depletion. Now, moving on for your follow-up activity. There are three follow-up activities for you. First one, list out the method to reduce the use of greenhouse gases. Second one, find out the future consequence of global warming. Third one, mention the role of students in protecting Earth from global warming. So now it's time for conclusion. So today we were discussing about greenhouse effect and according to which what we have understood from this class is that we need to save our mother Earth before it actually dies. And let's be the ones to bring a change. And a real activist is not the one who says that the river is dirty, but the one who cleans the river. So it's uh, we signing off. Myself, Archana Sudeva. Myself, Anjima. I am Anit Bichako. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.